Hello and welcome to Two Tits Play Tat Base Building with the expansion mod. I'm going to show you how to build this simple little base. Just because there's been a lot of people that have been asking how to base build really. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you how to do it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a like, comment, subscribe. And thanks again. Right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to cut down a tree. Let's get some logs. With your hatchet, obviously. Or split an axe. If you've got 120 space back there, you can put logs in there. You can fit three of them in there. As you can see, Two, three. If not, you can sit here with your hacksaw, look at the logs, and then left click until it says craft lumber. It's one of the things you're going to need. You can also craft planks from it the same way if you want. Um, but the better way to do it is to get your hacksaw find a pile of lumber and just sit here and cut planks that it will drop them on the floor uh, I've already got my supplies that I need but that is how you do that next you're going to want to make some floor ramp stairs wall kits whatever you want um, if you want to do a wall kit, you need two sticks and a rope. You can combine them together. And left click until it says wall kit. And then you press and hold. Which will make you a little wall kit. Which then you can use to build like that. So, I'll just show you that you can then use one stick, one rope, combine it, and then you can craft a, craft a floor kit, or a stair kit, or a ramp kit. So, yeah. That's that. Well, I've got all my supplies, let's say, so I'm just going to go up there now. As you can see, you've got everything here. So we will start off. I'll show you a floor kit. You don't have to do a floor, but some people do. So you just put it wherever you want it. Hopefully not floating in the air. Hold down left click. Don't know why the animation goes like that, but it, it has. Then it'll give you that. Which you then need four lumber for. If you crouch when you pick up the lumber, you can walk a bit faster. It won't go in your backpack. So you can either look at it and attach it, or sit in the middle of it and drag it onto the left spot here. You also need some nails, which for a floor kit, you need 30 nails. So you put those there. And then you'll need some planks, which you only need 10 planks. For the floor kit. Attach those there. Or you can drag them onto that spot there. Get your hatchet. You build your floor base. Technically, to do this bit, you only need the lumber, but you might as well put it all on. Pick up your floor kit again. And then if you just look around somewhere, there we go. You can even make a wooden floor kit, a uh, floor frame, sorry, or you can make a hatch frame. I'll do the floor now and I'll show you the hatch in a minute. Just hold left click. And 
got the frame and then you hold left click again and it'll build the floor like that then you get your floor so next you want to build a wall so hit it left click to place and you can either free place it or if you press x it will snap to it so let's put it there again i don't know why the animation's going like that but it is so you've got one wall kit there we'll place all of them whilst we're here again press x it'll snap on weird it doesn't matter if you're building a wall a window a door a gate it's the same kit it's just a wall kit um, in a minute it'll ask you which one you want to build and we'll do the last one there I don't know why that's up there but it is If you can't get out like that, and you see I'm walking into it, go into the corner and you can get out through the corners. Um, you only need 10 planks per wall or floor. So we'll take a few of those. I'll carry as many as possible if you try and just stack two tens they don't go you probably already know that but they won't make up 20 the most you can carry is 20 so if you just sit here it won't add it it will try and swap it so if you put any number less than 10 in and then add any number over 10 in it will work as you can see we're 15 so just put 5 there add 10 to it like that or you can I like say any number you can make it up to 20 so we come here we put the wood on all the walls find all the walls oh, I've put that one on the floor so we went on a wall not a floor And then each one only needs two. Obviously, there's four walls. So if you crouch, you'll carry the lumber faster. And then drag it onto the left space there. Two there. there. Then pop your nails on thirty again. Yeah, on. There we go. So you hatch it, look at it, and then you just want to build the base. Again, technically you only need to put the two lumbers on to make this part, but I put it all on at once. You're going to need to do it anyway, so uh, we'll get that out of the way. Then you choose by left clicking if you want to build a wall, a door, a gate, or a window. I'll do this one as a window, just to show you. like so and then just to look again and finish it after you build the frame I hold the left click go and build the base for this one and we'll make this one a door by left clicking hold down left click
Builds the frame. Builds the door. There we go. We've got one door that opens and closes. Take the fence kit. Build the base. This one as well, what's the man? Get a new hatchet because this one's about a ruin. So, we've built a wall on this one. <coughs> Press and hold. Left click. Put the frame, then build the wall. And then on this one, we'll left click until we get gate. Obviously, you can make these wherever you want. You don't have to have windows and etc. And then finish the gate. Then, to do the roof, you'll take the floor kit, click, and then you can either free place it again, or you can press X and it'll snap to it. Um, left click. Once you're happy with where it is, again, it won't actually look like that. It will be, it'll be right. And then, grab four lumber. So I've put the lumber on the wrong floor base. If I look up, attach it. So the hatchet again. And find where it says build wooden floor base. Press and hold left click. Can be a bit awkward with the floor ones to find where they build, but it's doable. I'll get that in a minute. So, attach some nails to it. And I'll get some more planks because I'm going to need those shortly. It takes 10 planks, 30 nails to build this bit. So you can even build the floor, which will look exactly like this. You can build it again up there. Or you can do a hatch. A left clicking. And then holding the left click. Which will look like this. Then... Need the stack here, which I don't have. And then again, you you can just place it wherever you want, if you feel like it, or you can press X, and it will snap to it. Press and hold. Uh, need the 4x4 
två lambis. On the stair base, which is there. I'm gonna put 45 nails on it. Basically, you need 30 nails to make this staircase, and then you need 15 nails and five extra planks if you want to make the handrail as well. So, you only need 10 planks if you don't want the handrail. So put those there. And I'll try my absolute best to find the staircase. There we go. So you build that. I should build the base for it. Then, once you've done that, you look at it. And you can either build the stair support or left click and it'll change it to the, to the treads. Or left click again and it'll do the hand rail. But it doesn't really matter which way you do it. You need to build all of them apart from the handrail. Obviously, you don't need that, but you can have it. I'll just do it whichever order it comes up in. So you can leave it like that, and they'll work perfectly fine. Or you can build the handrail. And it will look like that. You go up. And then it looks like this. So yeah, that's that. Now, there is also a ramp kit. I've never found a use for it. Um, and in offline mode that I'm using currently, it doesn't seem to work so but even even online on on proper servers i i don't really see the need for it i don't know what you'd use it for it seems very high uh yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what you'd need it for but i will try As you can see, I can't make a build, so, so yeah. It was a bit of a pain, but that's the basics of how to make the base. Um, walls, windows, doors and gates just need two lumber, 30 nails, 10 planks to actually build them. Floors need four lumber, 30 nails, and 10 planks. Uh, the staircase, again, four lumber, 30 nails, 10 planks. If you want to do the handrail, it's 15 extra nails and five extra planks. The ramp, it should need two lumber, 30 nails, 10 planks. Again, I haven't seen a use for it. Um, the kits to make each wall section basically there's either there's a kit that does floor ramp and stairs and that needs one stick one rope and you just left click to change which one you're making um, and the wall base kit needs two sticks one rope it's pretty simple you just need a hatchet to build everything and then you can either use a hatchet or a crowbar to dismantle it um, you can obviously use a hammer to build as well. Um, you need a hacksaw to craft logs into lumber. And again, for the planks, you need a hacksaw. I think that's everything apart from code locks, which obviously you can add to the gates and the doors. So. Find your wall with the code lock space, which is this little rope here. You add it to it, and then as you see, it is down here. And then you have to look at it, enter the code, and then we'll just go one, two, three, four. Push enter, 
and then uh, yeah, the, the door will open and when you when you close it it will lock one two three okay okay why does one open that that's it For you don't use the numpad it'll work right normally you wouldn't get that menu anyway it's just because i'm offline but yeah if you want to open both doors you can open both doors if you want to close both doors though once it's closed one it will see that as locked so you have to put the code in again to close the second door which is a little bit annoying but you know it happens again code lock this side Scroll down until you find the one that's got the little rope symbol underneath the attachments. Put it there. Put it down. Find it easier if you're first person to find. If it even works. Does it want the door to be shut? I didn't think it needed to be, but here we go. Then you enter there. One, two, three, four. Enter or enter on there. Open the door, close the door, and it'll be locked. Like that. Obviously, you can see the locations of these locks. You need to be able to see them to be able to put the code in. So, if you're trying to build through an existing wall, you need to pay attention to where that lock is going to be. So it is on the left hand side from the inside, the side that you build it. It will be on the left hand side, just there. And same with the gate, it will be right over on the left. Same thing, you have to be able to see the lock to open it currently. Unless they change that to where you can just look at anywhere and it opens, but at the minute that's how it is. So this is what I was talking about. With the doors um, if it's in a pre-made structure already you won't be able to see the code lock um, I got very lucky with mine where actually if I look in the right place I can just about still see it so I can open it where I've already put my code in it will it will open the door anyway I don't need to put my code in but, but yeah that's what I was talking about with it so yeah this is the flag Obviously mine sticks up through the floor a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to show you around too much because it's my base. But yeah, if you press B, you'll get this book come up. You can see your character status and stuff like that. But it's not what you really want to see. You want to click territory. And then you can go through this list of people on the server. And then you can add them by clicking the tick to your territory. Um, they have to accept it, obviously. And then you can click this pen here. You can promote people. He's already a moderator anyway. And you can demote down to a member and stuff like that. I believe it just makes it so that they can do different things, uh, whether they can build or not and stuff like that. I think I haven't played with it too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see I'm the admin for the group. So, yeah. That's basically it. They won't be able to build within 50 meters in any direction, up, down, left, right, anywhere. Uh, they won't be able to build, dismantle, anything like that. So thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. And have fun base building. Obviously you can make much bigger bases than what I've made here. It's just a demonstration. Let us know what you make. Take care.